Hello, you are on the Marmelada channel and you are studying Goudini. And I don't know what is the good news, but my neighbor has already learned 3D Max and earned a million, as long as we sing together in the programming swamp. But here comes the long awaited playlist Wax for Small and Stupid, where I'll explain the basics of the wonderful Wax language. And don't take the name seriously. Here is the first function that you need to know it's printf which is responsible for uploading information to our console. Let's write something cool. You might notice that at the end of the line there is a semicolon. This symbol means the end of the operator. So don't clutter mind, just finish every line of code with a semicolon. In the future we'll talk about other constructions, but don't worry about that. Now let's talk about variables. In any programming language we have to store data and be able to process it. This is usually done in standard ways. Variables are used to store data, this is usually the case. Type of variable, variable name and variable value. Now we can get the value of a variable by name. Let's get this into the console. All we have to do is deal with this nonsense. Type describes what information should be stored in the variable. Here are all the types in Vex. Link in description. Often the problem of working with variables is attributes. If we write at r equal 1, we create an attribute a that has nothing to do with the variable, but we can also store data there. Attributes can be viewed as a system storage, because after execution of the program, the variables will be cleaned and the attributes will continue to exist on geometry. You can apply and get the value of any attributes through add. But remember, if you get the spelling wrong, Vex will not give out the error, but will simply create a tribute. But don't store all the data on the attributes, otherwise your computer will have as much memory as the views on this video. Today we learned about variables and how to work with attributes. In the next lesson we are going to go into detail about variables operations. Check my Patreon, there will be a job on this material. And good luck!